we just found an estate sale on the way out of town so we're just making a quick stop to check it out these are cute <laughs> crocheted santa and mrs claus Fancy shoes. Oh, these are old. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> Those are fancy. Lots of wear on them. Pretty fun, though. Huh? I like the color of this hat. Looks a little bit too big for me, though. Some toys. They all look pretty new. Make our way inside, I guess. See what's in there. this table out. That's kind of fun. Pyrex. Did you see the session? Yeah, I'll give it a little better. <laughs> sure. I mean, it might be a print of Lots of art. Oh, this is pretty. Is that a mola, I think? It's pretty. This is so adorable. This is a print, This is a print. Oh, I forget what this wood is called. Or this, I think it is a fungus type of fungus. I forget what it's called. You know how much this piece is? Uh, I'll go check for you. Okay. Well, these are those fertility sticks. Oh, that's a, that's a fertility stick. Looks like a, some type of basket. Looks like a birdhouse, though. Some interesting things here. Oh, this is for... Um, it's got hair on it? Hmm. It's a pine needle basket. Kathy, that looks like a... Like I don't know what animal that is. <laughs> Muskrat, maybe? A drum thing. Yeah. You know what, Rob, that was very long. $4.75? Yes. $4.75? Oh, okay, I'll take that. Okay, do you want me to put it upstairs for you? Sure. So you don't have to do that? Sure. Are you going to do your girl? I'm going to do a paint. Oh, that is, is very cool. Yeah, there's lots.
amazing collection of things here. Look at this blanket. This blanket is beautiful. I still haven't gone upstairs yet. I'm going to see how much this blanket is. It's a little bit of a hole there, but I think it's got quite a lot of age. It's beautiful. Those mannequins are amazing. That was a pretty amazing estate sale. They had quite the collection. I wish I would have been able to show you upstairs. The artwork up there was amazing. They were going for thousands of dollars and there was some beautiful original hand-painted artwork up there. But there were so many people upstairs and it was very loud and very busy, so I couldn't record up there. But I did find two handfuls of things that I ended up purchasing from that estate sale. Unfortunately, most of the items there were not resale prices. They were definitely collector's prices. So I did find a few little things and I'm also going to share with you some items that I thrifted that I did not make a video for, but I did find some really fun vintage items that I thought I would share here as well. And they are from four different thrift stores, I think, at least three or four different thrift stores. It's a small little haul, but I will share that with you as well. So first of all, I will show you what I got at the estate sale. So you would have saw this little guy in the video and he is just a adorable little mouse with a bee and a flower hand painted on a, I think this is a type of fungus. This would have been on a tree. So it was hand painted and I just thought it was adorable. And I paid $4 and 75 cents, I believe for this piece. And then I just got some art glass pieces. I got a really cute little pink bird and a little crab. And then three little butterflies. And these were $2 each. So that's all I ended up getting at the estate sale. So a few items that I thrifted just recently, I got some owl macrame wall hangings, and I actually got three of these and one of them already sold. I posted a picture on my Instagram and sold one of them right away. So I got the larger single owl for $4.99 and I got these from Value Village. And then this one is a double owl and it was $4.99. And then the other one was a trio of owls. It was three little owls and it was about half this size. I'll insert a picture and show you what they look like. Those sold really quickly and they were $4.99 as well. I also found a hand towel, vintage hand towel and face cloth for $2.99, little set, really pretty purple floral design. It is a Wabasso made in Canada, 100% cotton. And this beautiful doily all hand crocheted. This one was 3 dollars 
I just thought it was beautiful. And then I just picked up these three little doilies for $3.99. And then I got this guy and he was $3.99 and he is Canadian Wildlife Series by Herta Canada. And I spotted this guy in a past video at an antique shop and I thought he was adorable and he was, I believe he was around $22 or $25 in the antique shop. So I saw him on the shelf and I knew exactly what he was. <laughs> so I grabbed him and he's in really nice condition. He does have a teeny tiny little paint chip on the very tip of his ear there. But other than that, he's in really great condition. And I thought he was just really super cute. Probably mid centuries, I would say 1960s. This Afghan was $5 and 49 cents. It's got the chevron pattern and different colored greens some beige and this is a yellow little bit of a tinge of green in that yellow that really fun retro 1970s style afghan and that was everything that i got from value village and then i went to salvation army and i got a few things there i got two of these little planters, kind of a mauve color and a yellow with some, I think that's mauve. They go together really nice. And they were $5.99 each. This one has a sticker on the inside. It says Royal Artisan on the sticker. These would be really great for succulents to have a variety of different succulents planted in them. I just thought the colors were beautiful. And I grabbed this stained glass little candle holder. It was $1.99. I just thought it was beautiful. Love the colors and the design. This would look beautiful with a little votive holder in it. And that was everything that I got from the Salvation Army. Oh, one thing that I forgot from Value Village was this tin. It was $3.99 and I thought it was so fun with the sunflowers on it. It's in really nice condition, a little bit of wear, but overall nice condition. I haven't cleaned it up or anything yet. So I'll have to give it a little bit of a clean, but pretty nice condition for its age. And then I went to Village Green Thrift Shop and they were having 50% off everything. And I only found a few things in there because it wasn't that long since I had been there. So I just ended up finding a few things and I got this Stitchery, it's a cruel in the original packaging, still sealed. And the price sticker is not on it. I believe it was about a dollar for this one. I looked through all their postcards. They had quite a few postcards. And I think these were, I think 50 cents, 25 or 50 cents each. And I just picked out some of my favorites. I'll just show you pictures of the ones that I thought were really pretty. This one is printed in France. Love the picture on this one. This one is printed in France as well. I'm not sure what the signature on it is. Let's see if I can make that out. The 
This one was printed in France. And this is Vincent van Gogh, and it was printed in Italy. And this one's my favorite. This one is Milano. She's got a snake around her neck. <laughs> so I grabbed those and I think they were 25 cents to 50 cents each. I can't remember exactly. And this would have been 75 cents and I picked it up for the graphics. I thought it was really fun. It's actually a belt buckle in the original packaging. So I thought that was really fun. And then I just grabbed a few hankies and they were 75 cents each. Really pretty cotton hanky. This one is very springy. And I just love this one because of the polka dots. It was 50 cents, really bright polka dotted hanky. And that was everything that I got from Village Green. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was that I picked up. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.